Welcome back to the Jatai Academy. Today we're going to be doing a haircut with our feather plie razor. That's the one without the guard. And we're going to be doing a masculine shag shape, something that's very LA. So let's get started. Take a natural or center part where it's flat from the first hairline in, which is about right there. I'm taking at that angle. So I'm gonna take a, a center triangular section. And then because I'm leaving a lot of texture in it, I'm gonna leave it longer than I think. And also the more texture that I put into it, the shorter that it's gonna feel. So I'm gonna go about from his eyeball to the tip of his nose and cutting that through. And then I'll look at it and see how that's gonna look. And I think a little bit shorter for the kind of look we're going for. Not a lot shorter, but a little bit shorter and a little more texture right around the front. All right, so we've got that. That's gonna be our guide. And I'm gonna to go to about the bottom of the ear. So I'm gonna pull everything forward. There's my length, angle my fingers to the bottom of the ear, and then we're gonna go through, channel cut this down and through. Now this differs from a female shag and that the female shag, I tend to pull everything forward and go short to long. Here I'm gonna angle the front and at the ear I'm gonna go short to long. So we're pulling this parallel to my parting there's my ear, so I've got a little bit of a guide of where I'm going to, put my texture in, and then cut my length. See how that shapes up, that's looking pretty good. Next section, parallel to my parting. Put my texture in then cut my length. If I need to cut a little more length off, no problem. Here at the ear, I'm gonna take a little more length off. That's looking pretty good. Follow us on your favorite social media platform at Jatai Feather. We're gonna go through Add a little blade glide to make sure everything's evenly saturated. And then I'm gonna follow the same pattern on this side. Find where the second flat is, go through there. From here, as I continue to work back, I'm going to raise my elevation. The first section I held down here, the next section, I'm gonna hold at that elevation off the peak curvature of the head. So that's gonna bevel my shape around the front. So it's not gonna be heavy and hard. It's gonna be cutting a curved line into it. So I'll take a center flat section, hold that out. There's my line. Cut that down and through. We've got a little whisper right there check that and I'm liking the way that's looking so we're going to continue on the same pattern making sure I got the right elevation there's my guide from underneath channel cut that through so this is as much about getting the right texture as it is getting the right length and the right movement there's my line underneath. There we go, pull that forward. There's my line. Same thing on the other side. So the next section I'm gonna take is gonna go to the corner of the hairline from the next flat part of the head, which is usually the high point of the head remove some previously cut hair, but still make sure I have enough for a guide. Pull that forward at my elevation. There's my section. 
Same kind of stroke that I was using before. Make sure I got the right elevation. There's my guide falling out. Cut that forward and through. Last section at the top of the ear. There's my guide forward and through making sure I get all of that like I want. Now, as soon as I get behind the ear, I'm gonna change the angle. Whereas before, I'm working at this angle going back, shorter in the front, longer in the back. Now, I'm gonna go much more vertical with my section using this length as my guide. So instead of pulling here and continuing shorter, which is gonna leave me longer in the back and it's gonna make a point, I wanna pull everything forward and then this angle is going to go straight up and down. Just like that. I don't have a whole lot of hair, so I don't need to texturize that. But we're going there. That way I can go through and cut the back at whatever length that I want. If I want to leave it really long and mullety, or if I want to bring it much more shorter. But it allows me to leave a corner when the hair transitions from the front to the back. It allows hair to be seen from the front. So it leaves this little corner through here. Same thing on the other side. We're gonna to continue to follow the same pattern that I was doing before. I went down to the corner of the hairline in the last section. Now I'm gonna go halfway between the center and the corner of the hairline. Parallel to my section, anything that hangs over, cut that off. If it needs some texture, we'll put some texture into it. Not a whole lot. Once I get to the top of the ear, pull that forward. There's my line. Not a whole lot to cut off, but I will cut this perimeter length in the back when I make sure everything blends with the sides. Okay, so we're gonna start right down the center and then we're gonna take horizontal section, maybe not that thick. I want enough thickness to provide me with enough hair to get a good grip and cut on, but not so much that it becomes difficult for the razor to push through. Start right in the center, pull that down and through, starting about halfway, bringing that down in a channel, and then cutting my length off. So we're gonna go here, same sort of thing, work all the way through. You notice that my left hand doesn't really move. I will roll my fingers out of the way, but as I'm cutting, I don't cut and move my left hand. I wanna keep that as stationary as possible. So now let's go through and continue up. We're gonna take our next flat parallel section as I continue up. There's my length, go through, continue to texturize and separate as I cut. Give us a thumbs up, click subscribe and the notification bell to be notified of future Jatai Academy content. Now here you'll start to see some elevation in my section. Right there, there's my guide length from underneath. Same channel cutting and then cutting the length off to get separation and pieciness to my section. There's my guide. Now I would bet there's not gonna be a whole lot of hair here as we continue further up it's going to reach but we're going to take our next section and it's not going to reach so that is looking pretty good so i got the basic shape in and i think it looks pretty good i think uh we're, we're right on with it but i want to make these pieces more defined so i'm going to go through with my osaka scissors from jatai and I'm gonna go through and slide cut and point cut 
this through to make these pieces a little bit more defined. And I'm just gonna go through and take my time and randomly go through and select. I'll go down, I'll go up a little bit. Now I'm not gonna try to make these like real perfect, but I definitely want to get a little more definition through this because sometimes when you go through and you razor something, you can diffuse the hair a little bit too much and I wanna make sure that I still have a little bluntness in the ends so that we can get that flickiness and that separation. And refining my sides to the back a little bit more. Come on, baby, stop moving. There we go. Refine that through a little bit more. Around the eye, you gotta be careful. So if it's a real person, what I'll do is I'll go through and put my hand here and then point cut into it so I don't have to worry about gouging their eye out. There we go. Now here I'm gonna go through and do the same thing internally. So I'm gonna brush everything over one way Go through, slide through, add a little bit of bluntness internally to help that internal texture pop a little bit more. I think we're not looking too bad. We got the basic shape in it. We got a nice little bit of texture to it. Well, a nice lot of bit of texture to it. And that's the whole thing is this shape is a really neutral shape, but it just has a lot of texture to it. And it has this length over the ear that you can kind of tuck behind, but you also want to be able to see that length from behind from the front. So I think that's the key point to this kind of male shag kind of look. You can style it to where it's a little bit wild and free, or you can style it much more smooth, your choice, whatever you feel is right. So please check out the Jatai Academy. There's all kinds of great information on there that will make you a better hairstylist and barber. Also, leave a comment. Let us know what you'd like to see in the future. And we will see you next time. Thank you so much.